recommend it high enough. It's it's excellent. So here we go, let's jump right in and I'm going to show you how to start your own dedicated server. First thing you need to go to is strangeloopgames.com forward slash eco and then click on the account button here. Um, if you don't have an account, you're going to want to register an account, so just click on register, get yourself all registered. Um, you can also link your, if you purchased it through Steam, you can link your Steam account to your um, Strange Loops game account, which is what you want to do. So once you get logged in here, um, if you've bought your account through Strange Loop Games, your game, you're going to have access to all this. If you bought it through Steam, you're going to need to scroll down a little farther. And where it says Steam link here, you're going to need to link your Steam account with your Strange Loops Games account. So go ahead and click on that and do it. I've already done it, so I don't need to do it now. But that's where you do that. And then once you come back out here after you've done all that, you should have access to all the clients here. So there's Windows, Mac, and Linux clients. But we're going to do the server client right here. So click on server and hit the download and you want to hit save as. I've already done it so I'm not going to do it again. You want to go to it and you're going to open it. You're going to extract all. And I'd put it on a folder. It doesn't really matter where you want to put it, wherever you want to store it, on your desktop, your C drive, wherever. Just make sure you get them all extracted. I wouldn't leave it in your downloads folder like I did, but I'm going to move it. So once you have that done, See here as it is. I'm going to copy. I'm going to cut it. All right. Now you want to click on the ecoserver.exe, right click, go run as an administrator. First time you run this, it's going to generate the world and it's going to take a little bit of time. So just be patient and let it go. Um, all right. So this is the box. And from here, you can, there's all kinds of tabs, there's all kinds of settings you can change and edit from here. Um, so first we'll just start down the list here of the important ones, the things you're probably going to want to change. You want to go to the difficulty settings and under collaboration preset, set this up for how big you want your world to be, how many people. So no, no collaboration is for one to three, low is from I think three to five or something like that, and then so on. So if you have plan to have a lot of people on the server, you want high, medium, medium, low, low, etc. So um, that's where you want those settings, and that changes um, the world dramatically. So make sure you have that set to where you want it to be. Otherwise, it's going to be too easy or too hard, depending on where you got to set and your number of people. So uh, that's important to use network tab. When you click on that, you want to click on the config button, and from here, it's going to show you um, description and default. It's your computer name of the server. So you're going to want to change that to the name of whatever you want your server to be. So mine's the minecraftunion.com. You're going to want to change this public server to true if you want to allow other people on it. Or false if you want to keep it private. And then you can put in a password here. And this is the game port and the server port. Uh, the web server port. You need to have both these open on both your firewall and your router. If you don't know how to do that, just Google the model of your router and um, how to forward a port and you should be able to find directions every one of them is different so me showing you is going to be helpless for you unless you have the exact same router i have so you need to open both these ports here that's really all you need to change on that one uh let's see there was another one that was important let me see if i can find it oh world size oh there it is world if you click on the world tab then you go to config oh wrong one sorry world generator sorry click on world generator and go to config this is where you can change the size and the dimensions of your world so the, the higher you make these numbers the bigger your world now you want to be careful you don't make it too big so your server's not going to be able to handle it it's going to it's going to just be slow and laggy so that is where you can adjust that and there's some other settings here you can adjust as far as like if you want rivers and the height and the water level and all that stuff so you can customize that however you want so once you have everything set up the way you want make sure you go file and hit save so it saves all the changes that you made and then you can exit out and the server is actually still running right here you have to actually hit exit to close that out and then when you come back here you can actually edit all this after you've done this in your configs so here's all the tabs that you were looking at earlier so if you would want to go and change something you can actually open it and you can see all the settings here, and you can adjust them in the, this way as well. That's easier for you, so it just depends. So like on the network, 
you'll see the name of it and everything. You can change all that. So, All right, once you're done with all that and you have it all set up the way you want, you just launch it again. Remember, run as administrator. Server will will boot up. Like I said, give it a couple minutes, and then you should be able, you and your friend should be able to connect to the server through the uh, server browser within the Eco game. So, thanks for watching. I hope the video helped you. Please hit that subscribe button to help me grow my community. And have a great day, everybody.